Now, abiotic factors are a bit different because these are not alive, but it's still something that has a massive influence on how species act. That could, for example, be the sun. The sun itself is one of the major determining factors of where you find marine life. Because at the same time where sun is giving us heat and warmth and life, it can also kill quite easily. Desiccation due to the sun is one of the most dangerous things that you can experience as a marine animal. Now, have a look at what happens when I turn over this rock. Underneath it are both types of chitons that we've been looking at. The green chiton and the snakeskin chiton. Let's speed it up a bit so you can keep an eye on this. Both species will react in the same way, but the speed in which it happens is quite different. The green chiton you'll normally find around the low tide zone. That means that most of the day, green chitons will be submerged in the water. But snakeskin chitons have adapted to be more tough towards desiccation and they're more in the high tide zone, meaning that most of the day they're actually out in the air and not submerged. Now just purely by looking at the speed in which they react, it tells you that green chitons need to be faster and react faster in terms of survival than snakeskin chitons do.